So in this video we're going to go through how to remove surface scratches on the paintwork of a car. You would do this after fully decontaminating the paintwork, we've done that in a previous video, so check that out. But for now what we're going to be working on is this particular door and taking away any superficial scratches on the paint surface itself. So we've masked up the surrounding area of this particular panel just to make sure that we don't go over onto the chrome or onto the plastic because different materials will require different products to bring them back to life or to revitalise them like your plastic for example or they'll polish at different rates to the paint itself but for the time being what we're doing is masking off those areas so that we don't go over onto these different materials with the polish designed to work with the paintwork. We've got different levels of firmness in each individual pad and what you want to do is you want to match the soft pad to the paint initially and what you want it to do is just take the surface scratches out you don't want to cut into the paint too much so in this initial stage what we're doing is we're using a soft pad with a light polish to try and cut into the paint we'll wipe away the polish see the results and if we need to go to a more aggressive pad or a more aggressive compound in the polish itself that we're using on the pad then we can do that and work gradually towards it so that we're not damaging the paint in the process. So the first thing that you want to do is prime the pad. You don't want to go onto the paintwork with a dry pad. You want to make sure it's lubricated in a sense so that you're not, again, creating more scratches on the surface of the paint. This probably won't scratch the paint as long as the paint is completely decontaminated. But what you don't want to do is create heat which can also cause marring on the paint itself. After loading the pad with polish or compound, spread this across the bodywork evenly. You will be working in a 20 inch section to ensure full coverage of the compound or polish. You would then work in the opposite direction creating a crisscross pattern. Again, this is to ensure that you've got full coverage and are polishing the surface evenly. After completing the pass, take a microfiber and remove the excess polish. At this point, you will want to either move to another more aggressive compound or a Burma pad, or continue with the polish that you've chosen on a second pass. Repeat this process in sections on the vehicle until you are happy with the result. So that's how you would polish a panel or any area on a vehicle should you wish to take care of small surface imperfections in the paintwork. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up Subscribe to the Silverline channel for more how-tos like this one and check out the Silverline tool range as well for more products that you can use on your own vehicles.